So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle. Don't know still about this. Milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Why'd we take the kid? That motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? I have no idea. Now is not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, bad man. I appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Jolly. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? It's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? What's with all the questions? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, with all the I used questions, to help out man. Farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Carrie are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided my People in masks are always shit. bad news. You knew we were hungry. Really and you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Holy crap. Put a bullet, take their weapons. Going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Take his crossbow. I'm gonna regret that. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty penny. It's a good bit. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends. Nobody is this motel. friendly in a zombie oh, apocalypse. That place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. 
Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Until you eat us? Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. You just look creepy. Cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet, but we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A Zombie vet? cow. Oh, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Zombie cows. Please be zombie cows. Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Just don't get hit in the head by a shovel. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. So am I going to look for some, a board and some rope? I see I've got my axe back in the inventory. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Why not? Feel like doing some handiwork? Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Now I just gotta find me some rope. Did you just put it in your pocket? Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. What's that? 
generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. You, uh, got any rope? Pointy. <laughs> Pointy? Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Pointy. Hmm. Pointy. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? Generator might be a problem. Andy said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor is. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. And the fence is also pointy. And that tree is tree -y. The board is good, but I need some rope. Now where am I going to find some rope? Bet you there's some rope in there. Rope. I'm good at games. Perfect for the swing. I will look at your awards, St. John's Dairy. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. How you know we is good folk? Fix that swing, Lee. You fix it good. All right. This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it, too. Did you say something, darling? Oh, my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. I guess that's all I have to do. I got to fix a swing. guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? How it's many weapons do you have? Last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people to be invited up to the dairy. 
Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking moved for the people on, they lost huh? An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing Not they morbid or anything. Days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Because all we have is this axe now, since you gave away our rifle. And you didn't pick up the crossbow. How's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be <laughs> such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, alright? We'll work it out somehow. Well... Hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Hello. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Twice. Who do you think he was? At least it's not one of us. I'll take that. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place wouldn't let me look at the light. God. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Anything else I can touch? Uh. Hello. Huh. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. As he says with a laugh. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Down Mark, fence. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from I the other side. I see what you did there. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on.
Q for quick time. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh shit! What the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! What the hell is going on? Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Ah, fuck you, Tom. and back to the house. Ah, man, ah. Shit, that hurts. And the plot thickens. You, you need to stay down, dude. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. It. Are you sure? Behind the tractor. Really? Another one? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? One of them's gonna be alive. Yep. Why didn't you stab him with the arrow? Hello. Let's get out of here. You want to close the gate? 